Hello, my dear friends. Um, I'm Matt, also known as Mr. Uzu, and today I want to show you a model kit I created, uh, which I hope uh, will make your work a little more efficient, quicker, and more pleasant. Um, the kit is released under my new brand, Model Nerdistry. And besides kids, uh, I have some plans to to help you create create stuff uh, even easier. Um, so look forward to it. But uh, let's jump into the kit, shall we? <laughs> The kit's name is Shading Nerd, and this name implies its prime focus is to help with shading in Modo. Shading Nerd is a set of scripts, forms, pi menus, and UI slash graphic enhancements to Modo, which will speed up your workflow and make some of the aspects of Shade 3 more pleasant. First and foremost, Modo Nerd Distri Shading Nerd gives you fully functional ad layer preset browser. Accessible via button which is located above the shader tree, as well as via traditional shortcut Shift plus N when your cursor is above shader tree. The preset browser also have new nice thumbnails, both for materials and procedural textures, for basic and enhanced ones as well. Usually, you rarely see those thumbnails in Modo, except some situations as you add them via add layer button in the shader tree, which sadly doesn't show them. The typical model texture thumbnails were sometimes pretty hard to decipher, and without seeing those thumbnails, it was even harder to even remember which one was the cool one you used some time ago. The new thumbnails drops the sphere mapping and presents you just a standardized square, showing you a black and white image with visible diagonal soft border. On one side of the square you have black and white value representation of the texture, and on the other, how those values characteristics looks when used as displacement or deformation. On top of that, other shaded tree items also have more recognizable thumbnails. Materials with the effect they are adding, utility textures like process variation, image map. In addition to the preset browser, Shader tree item icons also got some upgrade. Model basic textures, each one has its own icon for better visual distinction between them. Model enhanced ones have one icon per category as it could be a pretty big challenge to differentiate each texture. However, I don't say no to the concept. I might get back to this idea. Other shader tree icons updates are new design for render settings top icon, Moda material, shader bow, image map, which with matching thumbnail also matches the outlined icon of the clips palette. Real time and game engine materials have their own material icons, so it will not mix with standard one, in the same way as V-Ray and Octane materials work. All textures also have updated texture locator, which is more pronounced and visible. Normal locator also get those new colors and shape. On top of that, other shader tree items got their own updates as well. Camera item, lights and light material, as well as environment material. Now let's talk about the workflow and how you usually add textures, materials, shaders and render outputs. Sometimes it is a very tedious task to add multiple textures as each time you need to do a lot of clicks. With preset browser, you can just pin it and start adding as many texture by just double clicking. One neat feature here is that if you want to add, let's say, material or shader to multiple groups, just select the groups or any contents of the group and just double click shader or material or texture, it will be added to both groups or as many as you had selected. But your workflow can be sped up even more Preset browser is good for discoverability and research, and it is definitely a very useful addition, but for just day-to-day -day clicking, you probably want something even more robust. For that, there are two new shader tree pie menus. First one is Quick Add, which you can summon by using shortcut Ctrl plus space when your cursor is anywhere in the shader tree. It consists of most common items you would like to add as well as add layer preset browser. In addition, 
A minute or so ago I've mentioned that you can add items to multiple groups at once. This feature is also present with the spy menu. It is very useful if you want to add, for instance, multiple render outputs to many groups. By selecting Render Output from Quick Add Pi Menu, a new Pi Menu will open, from which you can choose one of the four most common render outputs. The second Pi Menu is Quick Effect to set render effect on selected shaded tree items. You can summon it by using Shift plus Space anywhere in the shaded tree, while you have some items selected, of course. It is not having every possible shader effect, but usually most frequently used ones grouped in four categories. Basic, with diffuse and luminosity effect. Specular reflection, with specular roughness, principled metallic reflection and clear coat. Transparent slash SSS, with transparency, subsurface scattering and dissolve. And the fourth one, surface special with Bump, Normal, Displacement, Stencil, and RGBA. Oh, and one more thing. By holding Alt over the Add Layer button, you can access quick options, where for now there is only one, but quite nice. You can set that the all new created materials or added materials will be set to Principled, instead of the default mode of physical one. You can access this option also in preferences where modern Rduristic kits will have their own place with options for all other kits, which hopefully will be released soon. Alright, so this is the kit and I hope you like it. Modern Rduist 3 Shading Nerd Kit is available on Gamrod. Um, hope you will like it. Uh, more things will be added in following weeks and months, uh, but for that um, except my ideas, I also have some uh, a favor to ask because I need your work though. I need uh, your issues to make this kit even better because each shading workflow is a little bit different. Maybe you have some specifics, maybe you have too many clicks and I want to help you solve it. So, you know, if you acquire the kit, uh, you will have my email for feedback and I would love to hear some good feedback and also like some ideas from, from you to make your work uh, nicer and more efficient. So can't wait to hear from you and take care and stay safe.